ringing in Give Big Kern. And to help us do that, Chester the dog is ringing the Liberty Bell. Take it away, Chester. <laughs> Centrales sindicales se reúnen este lunes para violar. Heather. Thanks, guys. Folks, instead of parking there and. We're going to get to Niagara Falls at 7.30, Buffalo around 8.30, Hamburger 9 o'clock. We tried to reach out to the man who died in this pursuit. Uh, they were unavailable for comment. Micah, back to you. During the day yesterday, <laughs> 61 degrees here, 64 going on 65. Man, I got around Terre Haute. All right, let's show you. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, I have tears in my eyes coming down. All right, rain is back out across Illinois, and it is coming in across parts of Indiana. Here's a day does go by. Hey, we're just trying to do live TV. That's, that's what happened with <laughs> on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> It's time to put the good in your morning. You're watching the KOAM Morning News on Fox 14. Today, roller skating has a law has come a long way since these days in the city of Memphis. It's not only gaining in popularity. Sometimes you have to get a feel for their personality too. And I mean, what I, she was saying is yeah. that he he was really um, calm and uh, good tempered. So. Sarah, there's some fog. Mo, ma, mo, ma, oh my gosh, <laughs> mainly in Iowa. Yes, mainly in Iowa. That's where we're dealing with the majority of the fog. May is Lyme Awareness Month in Minnesota, and today several lawmakers in the cities will be lit up. Not lawmakers, rather. <laughs> Landmarks. <laughs> that was a good one, sorry. What are your favorite places to go in Tigard? Look at this guy. He's I'm, just, like, chilling here. I'm, I'm soaking up Tigard. <laughs> oh, Nina, dear, are you okay? <laughs> There's a step right there. Happy Monday. I'm Tashara Parker. It's Wednesday. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, went, I meant to say happy hump day. That's what I was going for. I'm Brian Bowes. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Wednesday. You're going to make me wait for it? Oh, yeah, that's a tease wait there, Lori. It. It's a tease. Well done. Good tease. Okay. Well, today the Marie City Council is considering... Hi, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> it's considering banning single-use plastic bags. And this is really an inspirational story, Carrie, John. I mean, this woman is 77 years old. Her name is... Um, oh my gosh, what is her name? Lang. <laughs> her name is, um, oh my gosh, what is her name? That's right. Thank you. My photographer just told me her name is Joanne Lang. Throughout the next seven days, and that'll be the same for, the hey, uh, there's our producer, uh, Raquel. She's getting ready for our next segment. I thought she was wanting to be our next weather forecaster. You go ahead. You want to finish the... Uh <laughs> You should, you should let her finish the, uh, the extended forecast. It's all right, her. Raquel. We've She's all done it. She's always wanted to do it. Here's your chance, Raquel. Cronon meteorologist uh, John Schrabel is now joining us uh, with a look at today. John, what is going on behind you? The, the um, lens is getting cleaned on uh, our <laughs> camera at the Golden Gate Bridge. You know what? <laughs> it's not raining. Don't be fooled. It's just some uh, spritz um, that's going on here at the camera. Jacob, is it bad that I'm actually looking forward to the rain tonight? No, no, I don't think the rain's always a good I thing. I just feel right? like I sleep better. Everything's fresh. My allergies are better. It's a little bath for the outside world. A bath? Yeah, it cleans everything When do you think a shower? The, well, yeah. <laughs> let's get let's look at that seven day. <laughs> You're so right, Audrey. <laughs> well, a new study suggests there may be some truth to those old wives' tales when it comes to food benefits. Researchers offered 87 young children a variety of healthy foods. Now that included green peppers, tomatoes, canola, lentils. Over six weeks they had to have it. Well, the kids ended up eating twice as much if they were told why it was important to eat it. What's canola? <laughs> it's lentils. Do you mean quinoa? Quinoa, rather. I'm sorry. Did I say quinoa? <laughs> Thank you. Time for another round town. Anal is live on. <laughs> Anna is live on the north side. Good morning, Anal. <laughs> I've been called a lot of things. <laughs> you do. I feel like I, I know you guys only from uh, social media. Good to see you again. Because I always pick on you because I call you by the wrong right. name. Jane Lowe would be better, but that's okay, Jim. You can visit lsdmatchmaker.com for more information. How about that? Wow. I think it's LDS Matchmaker. LSD matchmaker. Probably a <laughs> totally different uh, website. You don't, don't go there to find a match. Oh, I just read what's Don't go to that website. <laughs> 
don't go to that website to find a match. I don't care how much money they make. You do not want to find your match on that website. Happy Wednesday. All right, Yay. we need to see our snapshot show off. Yeah. Coming up next on the KUSI News at 5, we are live and local from all around the county, beginning with Ashley Rodriguez in Kearney Mesa. Ashley. Yeah, we've had so much wet weather lately. A lot of us haven't been thinking about wildfires, but our public utility companies, they definitely are. Th Okay, three times the charm. <laughs> Welcome back to Ozark Spots AM. It's time to check in with the news desk for today's headlines. Good morning, Joe. Oh, <laughs> oh Jeremy. That looks like Lauren. That looks like Lauren to me. <laughs> I want to do my best show in person. I'm sorry. Good morning, Lauren. <laughs> Jeremy. Today. Oh, my <laughs> oh my gosh, we're not gonna have time for very much news. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm Joe Morano. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Lifts back north. Mm -hmm. Got me all choked up talking about right. storms. Uh, lifts back north this week. Oh. <laughs> guy, Thank right? you. What a guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Marcus, this is for giving me a... Uh, oh. Come on. He's taking it back. Uh, that was sad. Get your own water. Over to you, Sarah. <laughs> I've had a couple waters that have been under here for weeks, if not months. What a nice gift, like some Sarah. Of those. Yes. All right, guys. Overall, uh, roadways look pretty good out there. Just now seeing things start to build on the inbound side of I-55 as you're approaching the Dan Ryan. Of course, you're dealing with that construction. Yeah, grab that. You don't want this one? <laughs> this doesn't look appealing to you? How long have you been stuck here? Uh, about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yep. And you were walking up and down. What did you see when you went up there? Did you talk to some of those people that were waiting as well? Yeah, I did. I thought I was going to be a little slick and try to take the shoulder all the way in, but didn't work. Lots of flooding here. You don't know when you're going to be able to get up there, huh? No, I got a bag of pork grinds in the truck, and I reckon I'm just going to stay out here and... Eat my pork grinds and hang out. Might take a nap for a little while. And relax a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much to talk for talking to us. Hey, thank Hopefully you. you get soon. You get by pretty thank soon. You. And this is what we're seeing here. Well, throughout the evening, Cardi B fans who rolled up here to the El Paso County Coliseum went from feeling oh with anticipation to feeling with disappointment as their plans fell through before their very eyes. The opportunity to see the rap A lister in El Paso had fans saying, "I like it like that." But the self-described trap Selena left many West Texans feeling a bit finessed when this morning it was announced that she would be postponing the show indefinitely. Several of those who arrived for the show were upset at the lack of email notice that the concert was off, especially because some had put that thing in sport and driven for hours to see the show. This is the second straight show that Cardi B has postponed in El Paso, so some fans that showed up here tonight said they may just opt for a refund and take the money instead. All right, you're the best. I appreciate your help this morning. Get her up. Put your mic arm underneath. Better late than never. Oh boy, Keith, what are we gonna do with you? So wish me luck as I make my way across here. For folks who are just joining us, oh boy. <laughs> Margo and I are crisscrossing Connecticut all week long with your Connecticut bucket list ideas. <laughs> I, I'm told I'm on the, e the easy course this morning. I also have <laughs> a microphone, so we'll see. This is a lot of fun. Uh, it might not look that way. Margo, where are Keith, you? Keith, want me to help you out here? You're doing such an agile job. And yes, as Keith said, we were told that seven-year-olds can do this as well. And we are looking at a few issues here and there. If you are coming in from the south side, we do have a stalled vehicle near the vicinity of uh, Main Street at Greenwood. I-65 north and southbound this morning look okay. What is going on? Am I oh, missing I something? We're doing fine. <laughs> Before we get to business news, let's check in on the box in the middle of Broadway by the Broadway Plaza here. We've seen during the commercial break cars that were trying to get around it and a couple of near misses there 
as cars tried to go around the box and nearly sideswipe oncoming traffic. Now, of course, it's calm when we show it to you. Yeah, but, we've been uh, joking about it, but it's actually kind of frightening. And yeah. we've, we've all kind of collectively winced when you see a car going north on Broadway and a car going, oh, here's some people. Maybe they'll take no, the box out of the road. The box. All right. Well, just okay. if you're cruising along Broadway near Trouble Brewing in the Broadway Plaza, be just be careful right there with that obstruction in the road. We'll check on it later. We'll be going to feedback at this point, but we wanted to update you on the status of the box. While that package was airing, we get to see the feed of the Skyview Network the entire time here in the studio. A man wearing an orange hoodie walked into the middle of the street, picked up that blue box, and he put it down right there where you see it on the screen, just above. I don't know if we can zoom into it, but it's in between the American flag and the Indiana flag, right up next to that, uh, that uh, fence around Trouble Brewing. So Broadway's back open again. Yeah. Everything is safe, so carry on. We'll be right back. All right, let's uh, get back out to Broadway. Oh I don't know if this is satire or serious at this point, but here's the box. We've been telling you about it for the past half hour. Someone came off and they, they removed it from Broadway. Oh, yeah. Our producer just told us perhaps it's a recycling bin. Uh, to give you an idea of where this was, this was right in front of Trouble Brewing. <laughs> if they pan out, here you go. So there's Trouble Brewing. Caught up with Coach on being in the biggest little city.